Hi everybody, Armored Pants here and welcome back on channel. We have another Tank Legion video for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So here we go. So we're going to run today with the Panther and um, unusually um, the Panther has a derp gun. So this is an option which is available in Tank Legion. If you upgrade to the modules to uh, the third tier, you can have the derp gun on the Panther, which is a fantastic gun to have. And those of you who used to play um, the Panzer IV in, uh, whoa, what's going on here? Why is this upside down? Oh, oh, let's have a look. There we go. Oh, oh, back to normal. Okay, that was a bit disconcerting. Um, yeah, those of you who used to play the Panzer IV with the Derp gun in before update 5.5 and Blitz will really appreciate this because you've got a really, really mobile, cool, medium tank and you've got that big Derp gun. And you're going to watch an MVP game here on Normandy scramble game so basically which is where it kind of uh, captured the flag and you're going to see 12 kills from the panther and um, as i said mvp game and a uh, massive carry as well um, and that's possible with this uh, with this tank with this gun uh, because you know you really have um you know just massive uh, alpha rolls on this thing um, so if you take for example the tier 4 pershing its alpha rolls are going 150 to 200 uh, with AP rounds, this is going to deliver you uh, 300 plus with uh, AP rounds, and you can get four to 500 alpha rolls with your uh, HG rounds. See there, really is um, not only does it do a lot of damage, you get a lot of alpha, um, you also do a lot of module damage, so engine damage, crew damage, etc. And um, you see there, first blood given uh, to uh, the Panther. And this panther really hunts well. The panther hunts uh, both in darkness and daylight, and hunting uh, ground today, Normandy, is particularly uh, good. Now, um, by the way, I started using a new uh, moisturizing cream recently. It said it takes years off you, and I think if you look at my complexion, I think um, definitely works. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, if you've noticed a difference, let me know in the comments section, um, or maybe it's just good marketing from the cosmetics company. Now, um, when playing um, uh, Tank Legion, right, there's a couple of things to know, right? The game dynamics, um, as we look at the massive role there that was given from the, uh, from the derp gun, and now we're going to uh, just finish him off to get our third kill of the game. Triple, Triple kill, as they call it. Now, um, when, you, when you play this, and by the way, drop a smoke bomb here, uh, which is kind of the equivalent to a tank fart. Um, and that's another thing you have in Tank Legion, which you don't have in um, massive Frodo around there. This is what I'm talking about. Um, massive alpha roll there, 424 alpha roll. Like, you know, really just made him into a one shot for me now. And I'm going to clear him off. While I'm clearing him off, um, you know, going back to what we were talking about, well, firstly, let's talk about the smoke bomb. Uh, I dropped smoke there because I dropped it, uh, uh, my track was gone. So while I was repairing my track and get out of there, drop the smoke bomb so I don't take incoming rounds while I'm immobilized. Um, the smoke bomb here you can see is on the right hand side under, uh, and it's the second from the bottom on your consumable uh, menu, um, <coughs> where the arrow is pointing to. Now, now um, when um, you're playing this game, um, one thing to uh, consider is that it's very, very different game dynamics between scramble and skirmish so scramble is when you have to capture the flag uh, skirmish is when you have to kill um, a certain number of tanks um, and uh, after uh, a few games it goes up to 10 tanks so you have to take out 10 and the first to kill 10 tanks in each team wins now and um, that makes the gameplay somewhat easier um, because you don't have to worry about uh, protecting the flag because it's very often that you will find that um, you're doing really well you're clearing the flanks you're spotting um, and your team are sort of all sitting at the back or on one side of the map and two or three enemy tanks drive in and capture the base and you can have killed maybe nine or ten enemy tanks they have killed none of your team but yet they win the game so you need to uh, protect that flag and you can protect the flag by doing two things um, you can go into the space here in the center, the flag space, um, when the reds are trying to capture it, and then you stop their capture. So let's say they're at 50 out of 100 of capture points, you stop them at 50. Or you can destroy the reds in the circle. Now if there's one in there, that's okay, but if there's a lot in there, two, three, four, that becomes more difficult, especially if you have to go on your own. 
sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself then you can respawn in this game as we discussed before so sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself uh, in order to stop the reds winning um, now if you get some help it would be great as we see me dying here um, and of course as I said respawning is something you can do in this game so your gameplay is not over and I'm back in play and I'm ready to go and do some more damage and pick up some more kills now sometimes you have to sacri sacrifice yourself um, and of course you can call for help and um, the call button is here we're pointing to it right now um, and uh, you can see call for help and assistance as I get another kill here um, but sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. So just be aware of that. You need to be uh, conscious of um, your um, position on the map, particularly vis-a-vis -vis the uh, base capture uh, when you're playing scramble. Uh, when you're playing skirmish, you only have to really worry about yourself and getting out there and making sure that you get enough kills uh, to uh, win the game for your team. If you are running a tank like the Panther, with ha which has this derp gun, um, Actually, a very good tactic is to uh, roam around the map looking for any tanks which are 350 or below hit points and then you can clear them off with one shot. It's a great way of racking up kills for your team and of clearing off enemy tanks. See here, I'm going to put a HE round into the light armor of uh, this Coventer and you can see there, really, really fucking messes him up. He is in bits, he got the shit smashed out of him. Um, he lost nearly all his hit points just from that HE round. Um, Frodo round straight up the ass, just like Little Hobbit having your ring recently destroyed. Ultra kill. Another ultra kill here in my, in my after my respawn. Um, we're capturing the base now, so I decide I'm going to rab it a bit, see if I can go out onto the flanks and uh, do some damage. You can see here though just how mobile this Panther is. It really, really gets around the map. Um, really really is very effective and do we have time for one last kill one last kill or not and um, going to go behind him put a HE Mega round and yes got a beautiful roll on him one last kill to get a um, second mega kill of the game now we're into the last few seconds and I'm gonna see if I can get some capture points and also maybe um, get another kill I'm trying to maneuver, trying to get around, do a brawl here with the KV-2. KV-2 is a lot of armor. Sorry, KV-1. KV-1 is a lot of armor in this game, um, but he doesn't have um, too much maneuverability. As you saw there, maybe get around him. He missed me a few times. And then final kill, making me unstoppable. And that is the 12th kill of the game. And if you look up here, you can see MVP delivered. And... Um, we can see here when we look at the details we're going to see the scores and there we go 12 kills one death and uh, over five and a half k of damage so overall pretty good huh yeah worth a smile huh yes absolutely so guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you found it useful and now um as we look at the scores i guess all that remains for me to say is as always cheers mush and pants off